Hello, welcome to the second part of how to build a furnace. Now, let's build the lid. Mix plaster with water again in the same quantities as before. Pour this mixture into the bucket. We wrap this one with aluminium foil to prevent the mixture from sticking to it. Flat the surface as much as you can. This is only for cosmetic purposes, but will give the furnace a nice cool look. Use an old can wrap with aluminium foil to create the future exhaust port. Grab two equal 10 cm threaded rods, bend them in a U shape. You can do it easily with your bare hands. Now, use the threaded rods and put them next to each other. Set it aside to dry. Now, you will need to remove the styrofoam from the furnace. Start by making holes in it. Styrofoam melts really well, so let's just set it on fire. Use some alcohol to help the fire start and wait a few minutes. The styrofoam should be reduced to nothing. While we wait, we can have a flaming show. Now, you should have something like this. Time for a cleaning. Use some universal cleaner. Let's make the furnace shine again. By now, you can remove the duct tape as it's useless. The blaster isn't fully cured yet, so let's make a hole for the air intake. Grab a drill and attach a 30mm hole saw. Be careful now, go slow, don't try to hurry, you will get there soon. While we wait, let's make the air intake. Start by getting a PVC pipe with 40mm inner diameter. Cut it to your desired length. Use sandpaper to flatten the surface if needed. For the furnace intake, we use the stainless steel tube with 30mm inner diameter. Use an angle grinder to cut it to your desired length. Use safety glasses, there is going to be metal splinters flying. And that's it, you have yourself a homemade mini furnace. Remember to always use fireproof gloves and safety glasses. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe.